Oh, another one on it. Yep, got him. No way. Yep. Oh. Yep. No way. No way. Oh, he's bigger. Oh. All right, we're just pulling up to do a drift out of this wreck and got the 130 mil curly vibe here. This is the 60 gram P3 setup and we're in 35 meters of water. Basically, it's gonna cast that up the drift a little bit. Let that get down there. All right, we're on the bottom. Hopefully we can pull... Oh, that got bit straight away. So hopefully we can pull a few fish off this. I saw a couple on the sounder there. Stacks of fish on the sounder there now. Yep, on the sink. There we go. Oh, pulled horse. No. Damn, we got clunked really hard too. Again. Yep. A little weird fight. Is this like a little nanny guy or something? We'll never know because I've pulled hooks again. <gasps> Sorry, hooked two fish on the first drift. Didn't get either of them, but it's a good sign. There's a few there. We'll just set back up and do another one. Just about to come over the structure here. You get some fish on the front. Alright, back on top of the drift now. Right, we'll just cast that up a bit, give it time to sink by the time we get there. Just starting to come into the structure now, so it's perfect timing. And all we're really doing is doing lifts off the bottom, just you can feel it through the rod, that vibe vibrating. Do one slow lift or two, even some short little hops like that. And then you just let it sink back down. Yep. On the sink back down. There we go. Feels like a small nana guy, I'd say. No, it's coming up easy now. What is this? Is it a mackerel? It's a mackerel. I wonder why there's a weird bite. Whoa! That just little school mackerel. Um, can you stop? Oh, there he goes. Perfect. Didn't really want to deal with him too much anyway. Last one I brought in the boat put blood absolutely everywhere. Well, it's a fish on the board at least. Very odd fight that, but happens. Uh, we'll go back up. Try another drift. There's still plenty of fish there. Yep. Oh. 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 What the? F Mackerel. Leave me alone. Man, oi, can you not? Okay, bye. Oh, there's a little school mackerel, if you guys have never seen one. Very slimy. Like, that's, yeah. Hectic. We'll try again. I know there's more fish than, there's other fish than mackerel there, so I might just have to go through a couple to get to them. We shall try again. All right, well, we've done about half a dozen drifts with the, um, the vibe now. I might just try something different just to mix it up. Give them a different look down there. I just chucked on 90 mil curly prawn here. One ounce jig head. Just gonna throw that out there. Oh, there's a bite. Yep. Oh. 
that's a bit better. First drift with the curly prawn. There's a little bit better. I don't think it's a mackerel. If it is, it's foul hooked. Uh, some decent little head shakes there. It's coming up. What have we got here? What is it? It's a nana guy. Stunning. That's what we like to see. There we go. That's a stunning little large mouth nana guy there. Really one of the fish you want to catch here. This is probably up there with the tastiest fish in the local waters around here. So it's interesting. I did like six drifts with the vibe, tied on the curly prawn. First drift, something a little bit different, like this guy. He's going to be coming home with us, and like I said, one of the tastiest fish going. We have a plan about catching the leader one of these guys. So we get him unhooked, bleed him, chuck him on ice, and then we may as well set back up for another drift. That lure is all good to go, stunning. Right, just send this back out there. Coming into the fish now. Oh, that was a pretty fight. That was a bite. <laughs> oh, yep. Oh, oh that's a bit bigger. Better get him away from the wreck. Oh, come on. Yeah. I think we've got him away enough. Oh, crazy head shakes. Whoa! What's going on here? Slowly easy him up. Tail beats. Actually, I don't know what this is. The different. Crazy head shakes. Is this a finger mark or something? Head shakes are just insane. <laughs> That's right here. What is it? It's a golden. It's a bloody golden trevally. No wonder why it felt big. Oh, he's still got so much energy. No! Stop it! Stop it! Why are you like this? There we go. Ah! I gotcha! Holy! What a carry on! There we go, saw a little golden trevally there, not really what I was expecting to catch on this wreck, but pretty cool anyway. On the uh, little, it's that 90 mil curly prawn again. Get that lure out. Oh, that one's in there. That was a bit of fun. Get that lure back out there. Don't need to be flying around the place if we're just catching fish every drift now. May as well milk it while we got the chance. I think that I think the bite will change just when the tide changes. We'll make a call when things start getting a little quiet here. Oh. Oh, 
super subtle bite that one. That was weird. Or is it a mackerel again? Yep. Whoa! Oh no! It's a tarpon! It's a tarpon! <laughs> Are you serious? I can't remember the last time I caught a tarpon, let alone. Like, I've never caught one on a offshore wreck. Should be right. Ah. Whoa! Oh no, I shouldn't have brought him in. He just slung poo everywhere. Like, he just pooed absolutely everywhere. Can you just settle down for a minute, mate? That's just outrageous that you're carrying on like this. No! Oh, oh he just flew off. We go again. Oh. I started getting real aggressive with that. What do we got? Oh, it's another nanny guy. A bit smaller. That was like super aggressive, super aggressive retrieve. He's definitely going to be under size. Uh, even though we're um, we're catching fish here, uh, we're pretty much right on the top of the tide change now, and we're not even drifting at all. And I do want to try and catch some sort of big fish today, so just for a bit of fun and excitement, uh, we're just going to check out another spot not too far from here. Just pulled up to this other mark, and the stack stack of fish sitting on the structure there. Try and set up a drift through, and hopefully these fish bite. Still a bit of a dummy drift now, but I might just drop down anyway. See how that goes. Could potentially be on here. And I'm on the bottom. Oh, that was a bite. Yep. Oh my gosh, what the hell was that? Drift number two, get this out there a bit. Oh, something had it. Oh, this is probably a mackerel, I'd say. It's coming up fast. And yep. Whoa! Let's see, bud. Go have a different section. Alrighty. Did it real aggressive through this school of bait. Oh, that feels like it's rubbing on something really bad. Why is that rubbing? Oh, it's a little shark. What? No way, I've just hooked a shark. That's very bad. Why did you eat my lure, man? Oh, it's right in the corner of the jaw, too. 
This is where he kicks when I'm trying to unhook him and my pliers go flying. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> that was hectic. Alright, well I've done several drifts over this spot. It's pretty dead here, so gotta mix it up, do something a bit different. I'm gonna head in shallow out of this bit of wind that's kicking up. Alrighty, just made the move to a new zone. I actually never fished around here before, but I was just looking on Google Earth. Looks like there's some um, shallow reef just up here a little bit. Just got my light, it's a PE 1.5 setup, and it's chucked it on a four inch paddle bait. Just kind of fan casts around this shallow reef in here. Let's see if we can pick anything up. I wonder if there's anything hanging tight against the rocks up in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is that? It looks red. Is that a jack? It's a jack, man. Oh, that's sick. Oh, there's more. There's another one right there. A bigger one right behind him. Look at that one. Oh, that's sick. Get this guy in quick. His mate's just sitting there. What if I can just unhook him quickly? Oh, where's that other one going, man? Yeah, oh, yes, no way, it's another jack, oh my god, that's sick, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no way, I just did that, that's insane, I seriously never fished here before, just picked it off Google Earth, we got two nice jacks there, that first one's a bit smaller, that one's much nicer, how about that, that's pretty cool, two Mangrove jacks there, literally in 30 seconds. <laughs> That's pretty sick. On the little paddle bait there. Okay, it's off. Try and release both of them at once. This could be um, this could be interesting. Oh, settle down. Oh, well that was pretty cool. We'll keep going along. There's not many rocks here. Like, it's only a small little patch of rocks. It's funny, there was a little school of jacks just sitting in there. Imagine if another one came out. No way! No way! Oh, he's bigger! Oh! There was another couple in there. No way! I just released that fish. How many are sitting in that rock? This is ridiculous! You are kidding me, man. I think that's the biggest one yet. That is ridiculous from this exact same little rock. That's another beautiful mangrove jack there. Probably very similar to the, might even be bigger than the, the biggest one we just caught then. It's beautiful. There we go. Lure. Still pretty good, surprisingly, after three jacks. I'm actually going to lose it if another jack comes out of this bloody rock. Nah. That's fine. I literally pulled three jacks out of one small rock. <laughs> Nothing more came out of that stretch of rock, so we'll keep moving along. Got some shallow weed and reef along here. It looks like and there's a couple more rocks up there. We might just fish all the way along here up to those rocks. Uh, just pulling up to this next lot of rocks now. These look pretty good as well. Try the other side quickly. Oh, oh, still a fish on it. Don't go around that rock. What are these things? A little trevally or something? Yeah, there's like a dozen of them. 
I didn't even get to the rock, they were just hanging out behind the rock. Yeah, little GT. Little baby GT. There's another school of jacks. No way. Smaller ones. I saw like five come out. I kid you not. Get this guy in. We'll quickly see if we can double up again. Just quickly throw it in. He'll be right for two seconds. Because there was that many in there. Oh, another one on it. Yep, got him. No way. <laughs> that is insane. No way. I've done it twice. Double hookup solo twice. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know how I've done it. I've done it again. Double hooked up on this little jacks there, but super cool to see him come out of the rocks like that. I can't believe how stacked up they are in these um, in these shallow rocks, like right in winter. So very cool to see. I wonder if there's any more hiding in there. Similar little scenario, just this little pocket in between a couple rocks. That's death gas if one comes out there. No! Oh! What? I don't know if that was a jacket, but he, he, he ripped me plastic off. Right, new plastic rigged up. We'll try again. Uh, nothing. Nothing that time. I was going to say, surely they wise up eventually. Try to get one in between these rocks, eh? Oh, that's very scary. Yep, oh, that was a jack. I just saw another jack. Red as anything. That's a good cast. They should come out for that again. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, what is that? That's a brim. That's not what came out before. Oh, oh, I wasn't even looking. Oh, that's that little GT. <laughs> Looked away for a sec. This guy just comes out. I was all the way out here on nothing. Let's see. Get this guy back in quick. Let's see you little man. Yep. <laughs> I think this is a cod. Yeah. These rocks are just loaded with life, man. It's insane. Little black spot cod. There's another pile of rocks just up here. I might just drive over to those rocks over there and just hit them quickly. Oh, there's a fish. I saw something else swim out and um, spook. Oh, it's a whole school of batfish, man. That's what it is. More batfish, and I've got a, I've got another cod. Why is there all these batfish in here? Cod King's back. Oh, okay, okay. See you, mate. It's all way too shallow here. I want to get up to that point up there. Looks good. What? The littlest jack I've ever seen. He just sent it. Tiny oh, little fella.
Well, it's currently just hit 11 o'clock and we have to be in the back at the boat ramp by 12.30 at the latest with the tide, but we've had a bloody ripping morning. We've only been out here about four, four and a half hours. Got a stack of fish. I've got a huge day on tomorrow. We're gonna to be sending wide because we've got some incredible weather tomorrow. So can't stay out all day. Gotta get things prepared for tomorrow, but pretty happy with the day we've had today. Never complain about that. Sadly, it's time to get out of here.